welcome to my channel today we'll talk about random forests first we'll see why the random forest is better than our good old deciduous and trees then i will explain how it works with the help of examples and visualizations this video is a part of our predictive analytics playlist if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because i make videos about machine learning data science data analytics regularly so without further ado let's get started in this video we shall be focusing on random forest our next classification algorithm and one of the most important algorithm in the field of classification random forest what do you mean by random forest we all know what a forest is a forest is nothing but a combination of trees so the similar concept is also used here here forest is nothing but a combination of trees and what are these trees these trees are decision trees what do you mean by random randomness is basically i will explain you what exactly and how exactly random forests are created and then i will explain you what is the random part here so random forests or random decision forests are an ensemble learning method ensemble here means it's a hybrid learning model for classification regression and other tasks that operates by constructing a multitude of decision trees at training time for classification tasks the output of the random forest is the class selected by most trees so i'll try to explain it using a small example imagine you have a data set i'll talk about the same churn churn prediction list of 10000 customers out of them 2000 churners and 8000 active so usually what happens is you divide it into training and test data and on the training data you create your models and once the model is done you pass the testing data to finally get the predictions that's how it works right now what happens in in random forest is same example 10000 records 2000 churn and 8000 active you do the same thing you create your training data and testing data let's say your training data has 8000 records let's say out of them 6400 are active and 1600 are churned and here again 2000 records around 1600 active and around 400 churned now random forest as we know is nothing but a combination of trees so what happens is it creates multiple trees tree 1 tree 2 tree 3 tree 4 dot 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 tree n so multiple trees are created how do we decide how many trees to create when you call the random forest classifier there is an argument called as n estimators by default this value is 100 once we jump into the practicals i will explain you this thing again by default the n estimators are 100 which means by default if you create a random forest 100 decision trees will be internally created so that is understood that is the forest part forest is combination of trees what is random here so what happens is whenever these decision trees are created randomly data points are being passed for training which means if your training data is 8000 all the 8000 records will not go into all the trees let's say 2000 record goes here 1500 goes here 1200 goes here 5000 goes here 2000 goes here 
so the data points that goes into multiple trees are random in nature that is the first randomness behavior another randomness behavior is inside this 10000 records let's say there are 20 features that means 20x variables that is also random in nature maybe here you pass five features here you pass four features here you pass 18 features here you pass three features and so on so the number of data points that goes to a tree and the number of features both are randomly distributed and each of this decision tree is nothing but a weak learner they are a weak learner because they are fed up with less amount of data points and less features so they are called as weak learners and ultimately these weak learners are created and finally once they once they are created you pass the testing data for predictions they do some predictions 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 and predictions and finally you take voting out of it that means for an example one of the customers data is passed this tree predicted as active active churned churned dot 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 churned so there are more voters for churned so our out, final output will be this customer is likely to be churned as per this uh, random forest and that is one of the reasons why random forests are very powerful at least as compared to decision trees and in 90% of the cases random forest outperforms as compared to decision trees there are still certain cases where decision trees could be better but most of the cases we see random forest performing better so same thing has been depicted in this example also you have data set you divide the data set into multiple features and when you divide it into multiple features repetitions are allowed and you create multiple decision tree so for this decision tree probably age could be an important factor for this decision tree probably salary is the most important factor so all these decision trees that are created that are unique and important and all this importance are accumulated and voting is taken and that's why random forest ends up being the best classifier